Are there values for x, y, z satisfying the following inequalities? x plus y minus z greater than or equal to 2, 2x minus y greater than or equal to 3, minus x plus 2y plus z greater than or equal to 0. If there were only two variables, we could solve this problem by graphing the inequalities. But now we have three variables. We could try to graph these in three dimensions, but uh, I'm not very good at graphing things in three dimensions. So we'll try to find a different approach for this. And the way we do it is we focus on a single variable and see its relation with the remaining two variables. We're going to rewrite this system of inequalities a little bit. And we're going to isolate z. So we're going to write z in terms of all the other variables. So what we're going to do is this is the same as writing minus z greater than equal to 2 minus x minus y. And we don't really care about this, so we bring everything over. 0 greater than or equal to 3 minus 2x plus y. And the last inequality with z on the left-hand side will look like this. Uh, z greater than or equal to x minus 2y. So uh, let, let's move this over a bit. Now, the first inequality has minus z. Well, if we want to write as z, we can do that. But we have to change the sense of the inequality. So this is now z less than or equal to, or uh, let me write it this way, uh, x plus y minus 2 is greater than or equal to z. And we have 0 greater than or equal to 3 minus 2x plus y, and z greater than or equal to x minus 2y. Now, if this system had a solution, then x plus, two, x plus y minus 2 had better be at least x minus 2y, right? Because we need something for x and y and z, such that x plus y minus 2 is at least z. But we know that z also has to be at least x minus 2y. So from this we conclude that if there is a solution, x plus y minus 2 must be at least x minus 2y. Now let's look at it uh, from a different angle. Suppose I could find values for x and y, okay? Suppose suppose uh, x y satisfy x plus y minus 2 greater than equal to x minus 2y and 0 greater than equal to 3 minus 2x plus y. What's going to happen? Well, if we can find x y satisfying this second inequality down here, well, that means x, y will satisfy the second inequality up here. But what's more, because I know that x plus y minus 2 is at least x minus 2y, I can find a z value that sits between them, so that the first inequality up here and the third inequality up here are also satisfied by the values we chose. All right. So what we have done is, we have es essentially eliminated z from our system. So instead of looking at the system up here, we just need to find values for x and y that satisfy this system down here. And there's no z here. And now if you look at this, well, there are only two variables which we could solve by graphing. Uh, but we're not going to do that by graphing. Let's see if we can do this algebraically. Okay, so we're going to copy this system over. So we are now looking at this system. Well, let's simplify things a bit. If this is equivalent to the system. Well, we have x on both sides, so they cancel out. And that means we have 3y at least 2. And down here we have, uh, well, we can simply write 2x minus y greater 3. And it's easy to see that this has a solution in x and y because I can just choose something for y large enough so that 3y is greater than equal to, say, 
choose y equal to 1. We could choose 2 thirds if we wanted to. But 1 definitely works. Now, if we choose y equal to 1, well, we can choose x equal to 2 to satisfy this second inequality. Then, uh, x, y is a solution to star. Let's call this system star. Okay, so x equal to 2, y equal to 1 is a solution to star. Now, if we go back here, uh, what we can choose for z is going to be as follows. All right, so if x is now 2, y is 1. Okay, so this is, uh, let me write up here. So if x is 2, y is 1, uh, this whole thing is what? It's just 1. And if x is 2, y is 1, over here, this is 0. So I can choose z to be anything between 1 and 0. So we'll choose z equal to 1. All right. So in summary, uh, let's get rid of this junk down here. The answer is yes, because we have found one. x, y, z equal to 2, 1, 1 is a solution. And you can check that this is indeed the case. 2 for x, 1 for y, 1 for z, 2 plus 1 minus 1, that's 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. And minus 2 plus 2 times 1, is, that's 0, plus 1, that's greater than 0.